Hey gang, Poppy here. As you can see, I'm in the computer room and I'm wearing a chapeau. That's the French word, it means hat. Trust me, it does. Ah. I asked my wife get me a nighttime jungle camouflage bush hat. So she went on eBay. She didn't tell me she went shopping at the DEA store. Oh, you like that? All that long stuff is gone and the Nebuchadnezzar look about the face here. Looked in the mirror one morning. Well, my beard said Nebuchadnezzar. I said, got out the clippers, clip, 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 you know. And just a couple, three days ago, my stepdaughter, Christy, gave me a nice little haircut. Yeah. Uh, I quickly rubbed through all of the rough I bought, and there was not a damn thing worth cutting. None of it. The closest was one piece of Australian I got from this guy in India. And I couldn't complain because it was the damn piece of rough I picked out and ordered. And there was some color in there. It was so faint and so buried in the white. But, you know, I got a bunch of Ethiopian. And you know, I've seen so many YouTube videos, guys cutting Ethiopian, this problem, that problem. And I saw this, and I saw that, and uh, I had to try some. Well, you know, when you're buying African gravel, yeah, exactly. Uh, nothing worth cutting. Every time I see color, I'd look at it real nice, and oh shit, that's a crack. It was the interference. lines between t two, s you know, where the crack was. That. Now I'm right now, right, uh, the, 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 right now, <laughs> I'm waiting on a four parcel deal. There's Australia. Supposed to be Gamble cutters. I figured at ten bucks a pop, right? Tax and shipping. I only ought to get five saleable stones out of it. But here's the kicker: my wife gets to unbox on camera, and if I agree with her, it's garbage. She gets to tear the seller's ass apart on eBay. And then I record her comments for you. That's right. <clears throat> She's complaining about... Next time. Next time, she can get it. I'll tell her, hey, babe, use your PayPal. Go to eBay. And you get the best you can. And if it turns out to be shit, it's on you.
Yeah. Anyway. There we go. That's how I feel sometimes. There's no intelligent life on this planet. Uh, while I've been waiting, I did a major reorganization on one quarter of the computer room from the doorway to that corner and around and to the back of <laughs> this wall of computer related <laughs> yeah computer surround sound modem computer monitor monitor keyboard keyboard you know the usual computer room shit but anyway that quarter got emptied out and stuff got moved around and a lot of stuff got bye bye and went all back in with space left wow who would have thought just rearranging and getting rid of all the recycles laying on the floor <laughs> yeah no, there wasn't that much recycles on the floor. Although there might as well be, because we don't have a recycling center here in town. The recycling center, the guy got arrested for selling drugs. And next week, you know, another guy was running the place and he got arrested for like selling drugs and taxes. <laughs> so we have no recycling center. All our beer and soda containers and recyclable with money happening. We might as well get great big gigantic thousand yard uh, leaf bags. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, tomorrow, in the late afternoon, early evening, I start a reorganization on the shop. I'm taking my shear line machinery from here and the tool chest for us going back in that spot and a whole bunch of stuff between the chair and the door has to go out and get rearranged as it comes back in I've got a new piece of furniture the toolbox for the shear line sits on it and it's a two drawer filing cabinet Shear line should fit in it. Both lathe and mill, and all them heavy accessories like rotary table and power feed, all that good stuff. stuff, stuff, stuff. Then when the stuff comes back in, the chair will be here. Tools. You know, just for the shear line. And the shear line is here, but it rolls. And my auxiliary work surface, where the lap, or the diamond saw, or the little drill press, or the belt sander, or the bench grinder can sit. I picked starting tomorrow because it's unseasonably cool right now. And since I gotta move heavy crap and stuff, <laughs> I don't wanna be doing it 110 no shade. 
I mean, I may. I've been accused of crazy every once in a while, but never stupid. In fact, once, one time, a friend accused me of being crazy, you know, but you're so smart. I said, hey, wait a minute, Calvin. Think about it. You have to have a mind before it can be twisted. <laughs> we had a good laugh at that. And drank some more beer. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd tell you all what was going on. Uh, I believe my last video I showed you the camera I'm recording on attached to that Proxon drill press attachment. Not a drill press, it's a drill press attachment. You have to attach some kind of motor and chuck to it. It was looking like a total waste of money until I got this camera and I said, hey, gem microscope. The picture of that piece of jewelry at the start of this video was taken with this camera not with the drill press kit holding it. Anyway, I took it with this camera on a Cyberlink UCAM 3.5. Then I sent the JPEG to paint.net. I did two full, you know, up two dials to 11 sharpenings on the image then I saved it that's all I did was sharpen twice that got the color to really pop I think I found out how some unscrupulous uh, gem dealers have been making their opal look so much more colorful on the internet something like paint.net do a double sharpening of the image and save it because the color in that picture it's at the start of this video I can't see that color that good with my eyes with my optivizers even so if you've been wondering how it looks so good online and it looks like shit when I open the bag. That could be why. Good night from California.